Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Summer in Mara. Last time we left off, we got the recipe for vegetable oil, and uh, now we're going to make it. Why did I say vegetable oil so weird? I guess my mouth isn't ready to record. But I am. So, we have a couple of new quests. We gotta talk to Brom. We also have ring vegetable oil to Sami. Sami? Sami is how I decided to say her name. And we got a bunch of quests with other people. I guess this little bar underneath each of the characters is like the progress I have with their quests. And once I do all of those, we've beaten the game, I suppose. Interesting. So we need a thing of vegetable oil. Is that in the kitchen? Doesn't seem to be. No, it's over there. Let's make some orange juice so that we can have some good food. I don't think I want to make the yummy fish. It still says yummy fish question mark. So I'm not sure about that. I will just make a ton of orange juice though. And blackberry juice. I should just be doing multiples for these, but no, never mind. Now we're good. Oh yeah. And uh gotta make the vegetable oil. Oh, I can just make boat models now? I didn't realize I got the recipe for that. I bet what's-his-face Caleb probably buys these for quite a bit, so I should keep that in mind. That might be a pretty good way to make money, because if I remember correctly, they're worth quite a bit. That'd be a good way to grind up some cash. Alright, let's just grab a couple of things. Before this started, I did grab a bunch of oranges, and that's how I was able to make so much orange juice. And we have all of our other stuff. There's nothing else we need to make back here, right? It says get a pumpkin for Anzo. Didn't we get seeds for that? Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and plant these now. I forgot all about this. So yeah, let's plant these. And then Anzo will be very happy because he'll have pumpkins to add to his list. Interesting. They take a very long time to grow, it seems. But there's not really seasons in this, so I imagine it's not a system like Stardew Valley where you have to wait for certain seasons for something to grow. Or any other of the farming life sim games for that matter. Like, I get the uh, season stuff for sure. It makes a lot of sense, but it is kind of freeing to just be able to plant whatever you want at any time. And now we're going to head back to Qualis because we have uh, quite a few things to turn in. Wait, we did make that. I can't, I can't check. I'm pretty sure I made the vegetable oil, right? Brain, why do you do this? Would anyone like my brain? I'm tired of mine. I'm willing to swap if anyone is interested. Because uh, mine doesn't work sometimes. It goes on vacation too much. All right, so did I make it? Yes, I did. All right, cool. I'm not crazy. All right, brain, you get off easy this time. Looks like I won't be firing you. And up here we go. This game is much more quest focused than I thought it would be. I thought they would it would require much more like kind of grinding and building up our island than it has so far. It seems like so far it's mostly just kind of, you know, getting different items that you need and going to different places. Although we have had we have had to like grind up cash at a few points thus far, but I don't know. Maybe maybe that'll change in the future. Maybe we'll get some more things to do, as it were. Give me that flower. If I remember correctly, these sell for an okay amount of bucks. And there we are. Do I have anything you want? I do. Oh yeah, I forgot. I collected all these shells. Here you go. Enjoy all of my shells. You also really like thread, but I don't think I'm going to give that to you. You can have that, though. Um. With this, we already have everything we need. This map is going to be very beautiful. But, but, I don't know if it will be accurate. It's been a long while since I sailed across Mara. I don't know what's been happening in the ocean lately. Mm. What's wrong? I feel the wind has changed, Koa. 
All of Mara seems to be changing. And this map might not be complete. Don't worry, Saimi. I'll take care of it. I'll make my own notes. Of course. Look, how a marker zone on the map. There's a tiny submerged trench. If you dive, you'll find a necklace for sure. Bring it to me. Is it that important? Don't argue, kid. At your service. Oh, I bought those diving goggles for nothing. She just gave me another one. Alright, well, I guess I have two pairs of diving goggles now. <laughs> Whatever use that's going to be. Diving sounds fun, though. I'm pretty into that. That's going to be interesting to do. I mean, mine a little bit of this ore. I have so much ore and just copper ore specifically and just nothing to ever use it on. I'm not sure when that's going to be used. Because we've been using the um, iron iron fairly often. More people that don't know how to throw their damn garbage away. What's wrong with you people? You live in this beautiful area and you can't even have the decency to throw your garbage away. Did I have anything else I needed to sell? Hmm. I also still need a brown wax crayon. But where am I going to find one of those? Um. I checked you guys. None of you had it, right? Um. You make a oh. weird sound. She's like, oh. <laughs> like, what? what is that? You sell all kinds of seeds. Ooh, pepper seeds. Don't I need those for a quest? I think it told me to get them on my own, but... Collect some pepper seeds for Taka. Okay. One, two, three, four, and then I'll plant some on my own, too. Thank you. Alright, so I can go turn that into Taka now. Yeah, when I got that quest, I was like, wait, how do I make pepper seeds? Because it said... You know, just collect some. I didn't exactly say buy them. There might be a way to get them otherwise, but I just took the easy way out and bought them. Oh yeah, there's Brom. He's out here now. Oh. With these, I'll have enough for three sewings. Um. Thank you. I like to do these little errands. I'll ask you for more then. And will you teach me how to cook? Oh. Maybe. Here, for my latest harvest. Ooh. Fried potatoes. Hey. Oh. Hey, kid, you can't hang around bothering people, but this is a beach bar. This is a beach establishment. Everyone calls it a beach bar. Taka's beach bar. They can call it what they uh -huh. like. This is my temple. Here's where the culinary magic happens. Can I see it? No. Unless you want to become my <laughs> student, can I? Yes. But first I need some proof of your abilities. Cook something by yourself and bring it to me, without help. Mm. Deal. I'll bring you a salad. Prepare a salad and take it to Taka. Okay. And Brom? How did the food with your uncle go? Brr. Well. Brr. Did you give him the dish? No. Brr. He can't do it, huh? What if he doesn't like it? What if he hates it? What if he hates me? He's not going to hate you. He's your uncle. He is very strict when it comes to cooking. Yes? Do you want me to take it to him? Would you do that? Of course. Don't tell him anything about me. Alright. That's pretty easy. Um, do you like trying different dishes? Uh, I can be a food critic, if that's what you're asking. I have an exquisite taste. Let's oh. see. Um... The octopus is a bit hard, but everything else is fine. It's a good dish. Oh. Did you make it? No, Brahm did. Brahm? I never let him cook by himself. But he surprised me. He never shows me his dishes. So you like it? Well, it's not bad. Then you better tell him yourself. Oh cool, and that got me that recipe. Alright, now we just gotta talk to Brahm for the next mission? Alright, sorry. I had to get up and go do some things, but Brahm, what you got now? <laughs> In the end, it wasn't that bad, right? No, no. He seemed to like my dish. But now he gave me more tasks. How come? Turns out that in order to be a cook, I have to learn how to do a lot of things. He asked me to place some torches along the way to the beach. Oh boy. 
I think I'll need some materials. Could could you help me? Fabric, wooden cloths so everyone can make the torches. What does fabric require? Hmm, fabric. Oh wait, no, this isn't actually our crafting. There we go. We just need three thread. Okay, that's not bad. I do need more cotton probably though. So we'll have to get that from somewhere. And turn the favor. Yeah, bring him a new jar of ink. You still need a crayon. You want me to prepare a salad and you need silver ingots, but I don't have the hammer to get silver yet. All right, so let's go do this dive for Siamy then. It sounds like a good idea. Oop, seashell just hanging out over here. Might as well go ahead and grab this. Ah, I still love the peaceful little music here. It's very, very nice. I don't suppose you have a new quest for me, right? Um. Hey, why do you work for Alwyn? Uh... Whoa, what a gossip. Sorry. I was joking, kid. I'm saving up to buy a pirate ship. I'm going to be a great captain and sail through all of Mara. Sounds awesome. Now that you're here, you can give me a hand. How come? That other cat child has something I want. I've seen it, a pirate eye patch. Why do you want an eye patch? Every pirate wears an eye patch. I'll ask him. Ask Anzo for an uh, eye patch. Oh yeah, and we can throw our shit away here. All right, Anzo, you have something I need. Do I actually just have to ask you for it? Or do I need to buy it? Ah, uh, you sell the purple crayon too, but nobody's selling this brown crayon. Oh wait, no, that's, that's, I'm on sell. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Okay, you sell pumpkin and sunflower seeds otherwise. Anzi, can you give me something? Anzi? All right, Anzo. What do you want? Do you have an eye patch? I have an eye patch, but it's not a pirate one. It belonged to one of my ancestors. He had a lazy eye. Are you sure it's not a pirate one? Of course it's not. And you wouldn't know anything about a pirate with an eye patch, right? In my diary, the great Loom comes up. His second command was Ereti, the great Guido Racer. Grant Loom used to wear an eye patch. Good enough for me. All right, so take this to Mayo. I don't have any more garbage, right? No. Oh yeah, it throws all away at one point. I don't have to keep hammering the button, that's right. <laughs> I've got your pirate eye patch. It belonged to Grant Loom. Seriously? That is amazing. How did Anzo get it? Er Erity gave it to him. Erity? The great racer? Formidable. Yeah, formidable. This is not as valuable, but it'll do in return to return the favor. Three cherries. I can pick up all those off the ground, girl. Wow, that was already that much progress with her. Koa, are you very busy? Not really. Could you go catch some fish for me? I don't know, will you tell Alwyn that I did it? Of course. When have I ever lied to you? Always. Oh, come on. What kind of fish? Catfish and bass, they live in freshwater lakes. Alwyn is obsessed with creating new stuff. He wants to achieve genuine flavors for the Quido. It's all right. All right, catfish and bass. Catfish, I believe we could catch over here. So this will luckily be very easy. The bass, I believe I have to catch down there, or is it back at my house? It might be back at my house. Oh, I need silkworms before I can fish there. And you get those from the bee nests? So I don't think I can do that right now. But what is this? Was this bass or was this something else? Yeah, I think this is bass. Come here, damn you. Did you try to get away from me? Yeah, this is bass. So we need two of these. No, you don't. Alright, and then we just need... 
the silkworm to catch the other one, which I believe Anzo sells. Somebody sold it, I swear. We probably should go back and get a nap first, though. So maybe we should go do that. Phew. But yeah, we're making quite a bit of progress with all these characters. I'm not sure how many there are. I know for a fact there's probably some characters we haven't seen yet because there's a couple of characters that show up in like the loading screens and stuff that I've never seen hide nor tail of. So let's sleep in the boat. Wait, did I say hide nor tail? Isn't that hide nor hair? I think it's hide nor hair. Okay, collect some wooden cloth. Wow, we need a lot of wood for that. And we still need more paints for Napopo. Hmm. You sure you two don't sell this? Hmm. Where was it that I saw... Somebody selling that. Also, that's different. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody sold those damn crayons that I needed. Have I ever traded Braum? Can you even trade Braum? Maybe we should check that. No, you can't even trade you. Please, Koa, don't forget anything. Yeah. Wait, who is this? You have like a little thing above your head. Oh, you're an actual character. Excuse me. Sorry, can you give me a hand? I love your hair. Oh, thanks. I was thinking about getting some highlights. I'm Moon from the Space Rangers. I'm on vacation. I'm afraid that I've lost my travel backpack. Don't worry. I'll find it for you. I think that cat child stole it. It's not like I have anything important, just clothes, but I would like to get it back. Sure, I'll go and ask. Mayo, why do you do these things? She just She's just a delinquent. Yeah, and you just sell food. I wonder, does Mayo sell anything? I don't think I had a commerce option with you. No. Mayo, did you steal the backpack from the girl at the beach? Me? Not at all. Are you sure? Well, now that you ask, I found this backpack lying around somewhere. I buried it. I left it somewhere near the mansion, but you'll need a shovel. Using the shovel, dig up Moon's backpack close to the mansion. Okay. And what do you sell? This is where we buy the chocolate. You can also get wheat seeds. Let's grab some of those. Just because that's not something I've ever had. Alright, so... We gotta... Whoop. Sounds like the garbage is being emptied. So if you hear your loud banging in the background, that's what it is. Alright, let's actually go do this dive that was teased. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but, uh... Oh, look! Oh, it's just like Wind Waker! Oh, this is so cool! Wait, change map? Oh, okay. Names. Oh, this is so cool, we actually get to explore different islands now. Okay, now we're in the meat of the game. Cool, cool. I'm very, very into this. Awesome. So where do we want to go first? Let's go... to the east. That is the wrong way. There we go. Cool, so now we can just fully explore the map and kind of see what all these different islands have to offer. This is, this is what I was wanting to get to. Because this seems like it's really cool. It definitely appeals to my love of Wind Waker. If you've ever played that. Not many games do the whole, like, sailing around on a ship thing, and it's quite fun, I find. What is a star on the map? Hello? What are you? Excuse me? There were just chicks in a thing out on the ocean? Why? And we get stuff for running these over? Oh wow, that one had money in it. Interesting. I've discovered a new place in Mara, Iron Island. Wow, this is so cool. I'm so into this. Now that we can actually sail around the map and everything, super, super into it. There's even different fish here and everything. Yeah, I mean, I 
It's not like I was thinking that Qualys and the home island were the only things, but I definitely didn't expect a map this large. Hello. People lie, people love, people go, but beauty lies in every soul. That's a nice little message. Beauty lies in every soul. Indeed. Alright, what do we got here? Besides a ton of shells. Ooh, that's a new one. I wonder if, uh, what's-her-face would like that. Um... Damn it, it's on the tip of my tongue. What is her face? Uh, oh. Siamy, yeah, Siamy. I feel lied to because some of the shells you can pick up and some you can't. Like, like those... Can't pick those up. They're not actually real shells. They're just little background elements. Give me that flower. Oh man, they have honeybees here too. Ooh. This kind of looks like a hint at what my island could possibly become eventually. Ah, to be able to explore now. This is what I've been waiting for. I was getting a little bit worried that the game, you know, was basically just gonna have me running around kind of doing things for different people without uh, much of the exploration aspects, but here we are. And I also just got some bananas. I guess we can plant those back on our island now, too. Oh, I'm gonna have the best damn island ever. Hello. To whoever this message reaches, just to let you know, you are special. I don't know you, and I don't know how, but you are gonna do wonders in this world. Keep those special on the right path and trust the beat of your heart. Wow, what a nice little message. These- all these people are so wholesome. Ooh, lemons. I gotta make a wholesome message when I make a message. All these wholesome people leaving me wholesome notes. This reminds me of a uh, lo-fi beats to... Uh, that house is huge. Why would someone need a house so big? Lo-fi beats to kind words or whatever? Kind Lo-fi beats the right kind words to, I think, is what it's, that game is called. It's a game where basically just people write anonymous letters about their struggles and stuff, and you can reply to them telling them, like, everything will be okay and stuff. Well, I got some free honey from that. I'm just kind of looting everything on their island. I keep hearing these chicks, but I don't see them anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like they're so close, but oh, there, there you are. There you go. Have some corn. I made you like me, apparently. What does it say when this place is going to open? Oh, the chick's following me around now. I'm going to need something to open this chest. Alright. Well, it looks like that's it for this island. I'm sure we'll find out who the owner of this island is at some point. Alright, let's explore the rest of, uh, this area. It says there's, like, a special fishing spot out here. wonder what the deal with this is. I like that they have these little barrels to run over while you're, uh, out, going out, too. It's nice. What are you? Oh, you're a buoy that I can fish at. Catfish out in the ocean? Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure about that? Uh, okay, let's see. Let's focus on getting the ones that are actually on our map right now. So let's go south now. Want to kind of focus on the ones that have been shown to us for now. Ah, a bunch of barrels to hit. Got some stone. What is that? Crab? Dreams which bind the seeds I sow, and from this earth they will ever grow. Got some cotton seeds. Ah, cool. Yeah, I like the little message system that other players can leave behind. At least I assume those are other players. I wouldn't mind to leave a message. I wouldn't mind leaving a, my own message. Oh, that's a different fish. I wonder if there's like a collection catalog a la Stardew Valley and stuff. Because I wouldn't mind trying to catch every fish. Although some of them might be a bit weird and obscure. Uh, nope, let's turn around. We're not leaving. We're gonna go over here. Global Sleeps. 
What is that? Okay. Oh, look, there's my little duck. Oh, that's a real duck. Hello. And those are flatfish. I can catch those on my island, so I don't really care about that. <laughs> Someone's been having fun over here. A worm? Can I chop the trees down on this island? I wonder? No. It's only on my island. I can't think of anything to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, some people aren't going to be able to come up with anything too interesting. I mean, I, I know I wouldn't be able to. Break? I need a better hammer. I mean, that's somebody's stuff. I don't think I would want to break that anyway. Got a little music box here. Has a pretty nice sound to it. Hmm. Did I, did I check you? Ooh, coconuts. Find the blue coconut. Guybrush Threepwood Jr. Find the blue coconut. wonder if that's actually supposed to mean anything. Koa's exhausted. She needs to rest. Yep, we'll sleep. It's nap time for Koa. Okay. So... Where to now? So that was Global Sleeps. Let's go... Home now, I think. So we can kind of check in on our pumpkins and do a couple of things that require us being at home. And then we can kind of go back out here. We can also grind up a lot of resources just by running over these things in the water. Like, I'm getting a lot of the wood and stuff that I need for this. Um. Uh, that one is in, I believe that is Japanese. So, I don't know that one. It looks like they gave us rice, though. Which, thank you. I love rice. Yeah, okay, we're going the wrong way. We gotta go west. Ah, what a cute little peaceful game. I'm glad this series seems like it's actually doing kind of well, and I, I do appreciate anybody that's watching this, because I, I didn't know how well this was going to do, or how much, you know, people would actually enjoy this, so... I, th I kind of thought it was just something that I would enjoy, but I'm glad to see that other people... Seem to enjoy it as well. A new animal is now living on your island. So that's because I saved the chick. Hmm. Then that definitely makes me feel like I should... Absolutely, uh... Build the other pins, too. Just in case I come across, like, pigs or anything in my travels. Time to drink some of this juice. Alright, so... Yeah, that's flatfish. Don't really want to bother with that. Ah, what a peaceful little game, though. Curious to see what other people's thoughts about the game are, because while I think it had a bit of a slow start, don't get me wrong, I imagine there's quite a few people that probably started this were like, that's it, and then quit or something. Doesn't look like I can build those up yet. Interesting. So, I, we do have a chick now, though. And I guess I have to... Make sure I feed it. I wonder if it's something I have to feed every day. Because it would be kind of hard to remember to come back to my island every day, given how fast time goes by. I have to feed the animals first. How do I feed them? Hey, little buddy, what do you eat? Corn? Feed the animals to get a special item. The more animals you have, the more items you get. I have to feed the animals first. I already did. How much do they require? Oh, it probably takes multiple days of feeding them in a row before it kind of charges up. Oh, and it follows me. It's so cute. Oh yeah, we gotta water our pumpkins too. It's a good thing we don't have to water these things every day because it's very easy to lose track of time in this game, I feel. Alright, what other seeds do we have? I can plant some peppers. Why not? That's not a resource we've gotten before. I wish I would have done that before I used my water there. But, oh well, what can you do? Yeah, I hope the way I think wells work actually works. Like, if you build multiple, will you have more water? It'd be very, very nice. So we need a bit more wood. We definitely need some fabric. So I gotta plant some uh, cotton. 
I never did find that area marked on the map. Where was it? She doesn't have an area marked on my map. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, and what other quests do we have? Return to Edigan, yeah. We need catfish. Oh, we need to make a shovel. So we're gonna get to bring pumpkins to Anzo, prepare a salad. How do we make a salad and how do I make a shovel? Oh, I can already make a shovel. Oh, well, that was easy. Now salad. Oh, I can already make a salad too. Okay, there we go. So we got the next quest for Taka already finished up too. Well, that was a useful little trip back here. We still can't find you some damn brown crayons, Napopo. I'm so sorry. All right, but uh, it looks like this video is getting about to 32 minutes now. So I think we're going to go ahead and end things off here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Summer in Mara, and I will see you next time.